Hi, my name is Peyton. Producing meat is only one step in making sure you have food. When you butcher your animal's meat, you want to make it last a long time. Freezers break, electricity goes off, you just never know what might happen. Hundreds of years ago, a common method to preserve meat was to salt cure it. Today, many people like Slim Jims, which is really just jerky. Today, we are making three pounds of jerky. Here's how it's done. You have to have three pounds of meat, two ounces of spices, and two ounces of salt, and mix together for seven minutes. We generally start off by mixing the salt first. You have to make sure when you're mixing that you mix the bottom as well as the top, flipping the meat from top to bottom several times during the mix. Salt diffused throughout the meat is very important in the jerky making process. <clears throat> it's also important to start with the leanest meat possible. Historically, that was fairly easy because generally during times of famine or unlike today when meat is plentiful, generally your animals were just as hungry as you were, so fat was not as prevalent. That's why pork jerky is very uncommon, because pork is a common trait amongst pork is fat. Deer meat, venison, uh, if you prefer, uh, moose, etc. These animals typically have lower fat than our commercially bought meat today, making it A, better for you, and B, more suitable for long-term storage. while Noah continues to blend our spices in. And of course, there's many jerky spice recipes. Some people prefer to have it hot. Some people prefer to have it not so hot. You control this with the spices that you add. Google is a valuable resource for such recipes. We encourage you to print these recipes out in case you would like to have them in a pinch and don't have time or access to the internet. Once you actually have the jerky that Noah is working on so diligently, the next thing you have to do is form it into your jerky. A very easy way to do that is using a jerky press. Jerky press is a cylinder somewhat like a uh, cake icing machine that you fill the tube with meat and press the meat out. There's several different handles, styles, and press styles as well as end styles depending on whether you want round or flat jerky. From there you can bake the jerky at a very low temperature in your oven or if you prefer to make it without using electricity you can do so outside uh, in direct sun during hot days or in a brick oven something along that nature. We generally make ours using a uh, garden variety, variety Nesco Walmart brand or purchased at Walmart. Food dehydrator. Can you hand us one of those trays, Ruby? This is never going to work. After filling your extruder with jerky press, you just extrude the meat directly onto the... While Noah's hard at work mixing here, we're going to take a little break, and we'll be right back.